Hello, people in time. This is also Jive here. Welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have an unboxing. As you may have seen, we've got a few things to unbox. We're gonna be starting with the three cubes I've got, which are this little special guy. We'll, we'll see at the end, and the le uh, and the Z cube seven by seven, and the Cyclone Boy six by six. I am no big cube expert, so I'm s I'm sorry in advance if you know. If Few of the things I do aren't that good. Oh yeah, this is my first. This is my first seven by seven. Honestly, it's slightly smaller than I expected. Well, I'm not. I don't have that much of an experience with seven by seven. So I didn't. I didn't know what to expect. But yeah. Uh, wait. Now I just messed up my turns, but. I think I noticed, obviously, this is a budget 7x7, but the layers actually turn pretty good, so obviously corner cutting is pretty minimal, so I will lock up quite easily, but this doesn't even like, I don't think I can still finger trick, so I can actually put, I can actually do it kind of easily, obviously this is out of the box, so bringing it in, it will become a lot better. So yeah, actually it's not too bad for my first seven by seven. Obviously, I'm, I'm not. I don't know how to speed solve it. I'm gonna have to learn. Like I'm like gonna have to work on knowing how to speed solve it. Oh well. This was a seven by seven. Moving on to six by six is actually easily opened from the top. Um. Ooh, a bit of this. This is obviously a bit smaller than. Even if it isn't that much smaller than the 7x7, seven, seven seven, the pieces make it look like this is actually quite, like the way everything is shaped, it makes it look like it's a it's different. Oh yeah, I haven't talked about the color shades, but uh, basically, obviously the, the difference in blue and pink and green, like this, this one has lighter shades and has a pink shade for instead of red. Which was kind of interesting choice by Z Cube. This one said the Cyclone Boys, six by six, as a, as you can see by the logo. And uh, what a first thing I noticed while doing turns that it's a lot faster than the seven by seven, which is to be expected. Obviously, this being a smaller order cube. I don't think I'm I'm not the biggest expert on the cube, so sorry about that. But. Honestly, I feel like this this is something that I can use to learn how to do big big cubes. And yeah, that's very uh, from what I heard, it's a very good budget cube like the seven by seven. And it'll be interesting to see what I can do in the future. Now let's talk about the important guy. I'll open from the back. As you can see, it's a square one. Cubicle Labs Square One. They actually changed the boxing since the last time I got one. As you can see, Cubicle Labs logo. Gonna have to pull out scissors for this. There we go. Cubicle Lab Vault. Well, it's not much else at this Cubicle Labs. Sorry about my struggle on opening this. And also sorry if camera sometimes isn't too perfect. It's a bit in a weird position. Oh well, we finally got it out. So it's actually M, so it's magnetic. Kind of feel you can kind of feel the magnets while doing turns. Oh well this let's do first turn with this. Oh, this is, oh, right, right out of the box, it's actually, like, I gotta, I'm gonna have to get used to it, but the difference of my vault, let me just pick it up separately. Obviously, my vault's already broken in, so the layers do turn a bit better, but the thing was, out of the box, my, my normal vault, had like very slow, very slow upper and lower layers turning. 
But what I noticed, what I noticed already from now is that, how do you call it? What I already noticed from now is that this one already has like pretty good, uh, pretty good higher and lower corner corners. Also, slice is very smooth. I can make it do what I want. As I said, I'm still need to get used to it to how four turns stuff like that because this is a bit more stable than my current square one. But yeah, uh, even a lot more silent doing alts on this is already a lot more rewarding. Obviously, it's very um, you know you can feel the lube that was applied. So yeah, always this will slowly start to break in. We'll have to wait for that to happen. Well, yeah, that's all for the cubes. So the cubes are seven by seven, six by six, and square one. On to the miscellaneous of what I got. Now the other two things I got were this speed stacking set. Now the reason I got this is because it's always been another thing I've been interested in, and was kind of interested to start learning how it worked, basics and stuff. So yeah. That's and the last thing I got was the chi chi bag. Um, I'll I'll actually pick it up. Like here it is. I'm picking it up now. It's an interesting bag. As now here it looks big. It isn't that big, but it can and basically can. Ho it's perfect for holding mains and a few extras for like local comms and stuff like that. So yeah. Um, that's really about it. I ain't got much else to say. I've been your boys as well, Sazi5 here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.